Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. People back at it with another unboxing video. You know, I'm a relatively simple man. It doesn't take much to make me happy. It's the little things in life. My dog's tail wagging excitedly when I come home. A nice plate of warm cookies. A big hug on a rough day. And a giant expensive pile of pro wrestling autographs from highspots.com. It's little things. We have uh, multiple weeks worth of packages here. There's a lot of this one, I'm not going to lie. This one's a bit on the higher end of what I tend to buy, but you only die once, right? God knows I'm pushing it with my wife. All right. Let's get rid of the unboxing. Chomp. Thank you. So first we have a single photo, although you can clearly see. It says, do not bend, and the post office took that as a challenge. So, I'm hoping this is in good shape. I will say this single photo by itself pretty much got me free shipping from high spots, so... That should tell you the price range we're talking here. Okay. Good thing is they always pack really, really well. So we have a nice dual signed Randy Orton and Cactus Jack. Um, this is, I think, from either their Mania match or the build up to it. A very brutal match I loved. This photo is just too cool to pass up. So, I snagged it. I didn't want to regret not having it later. And, um... Oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I don't remember which box is which, so... We shall see. I'll be honest, I don't entirely remember what's in all of these. I know, shocking. Oh, yes. Starting off with a promo of an absolute legend. And one that I kind of ticked off a lot of people when I got. <laughs> so on some of their shows, they will put items they literally only have, like, one or two of. And the first person who comes up on their Facebook feed gets it. A lot of people were looking for this one, and I managed to snag it. We have the Dynamite Kid. Matilda. I really liked this because, number one, I like the Bulldogs. Number two, you don't see solo shots of Dynamite very often. It's almost always with Davy Boy, and it's either unsigned, and you know how much that drives me nuts, or if it's signed by Davy Boy, it's incredibly far out of my price range. That man is not cheap. Too bad, because I would really like to add him to my collection. And we have a Funko Pop. I know, me buying a Funko Pop, what is this world coming to? We have somebody who just had a very good showing at WrestleMania. From the Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley. With the Mammy inscription on there. Of course, I had to get that as soon as they announced they had it. Actually, I had to uh, make some deals at work to get my break at the right time to order that one. But it was well worth it. Especially since uh, she's not signing much anymore because some people are just jerks. We're into the final box. And the funny thing is, um, another site I go to had that same pop up. 
and they were looking for, I think it was like 150 for it, and I almost went for it, chickened out, and then later that week, High Spots put it up for 99. So yeah, always check High Spots before you order from anyone else. We have more Funkos in here. First, we have one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. The Dragon Ricky Steamboat. Signed in the cool yellow. With the Hall of Fame inscription on there. Don't, however, like this key so much. It's not the usual one. Feels a bit flimsy. Pops in good shape. Yeah, they blew through a ton of those, too. I think they did them at, like, 75, and it was not so quickly they went. This was literally one of the last ones they had in that color. And... So buried in here, we have... Somebody you've seen a few pops of lately... I think there's a picture in here, too, I forgot about. Slightly different one. We have the Demon Finn Balor Pop. This has the special edition sticker. With his Demon signature, which is slightly different from the normal one. Very tough guy. Also had a very good showing at WrestleMania, if you didn't see it. Dude got staples in his forehead at ringside. And then it finished a Hell in the Cell match. I love the demon character, so I was hoping to get this one after they did the signing. They didn't have a lot of them, but I'm glad I got it. And I think this... I want to say this promo was another one of those ones where I... Yes. This was another one that I had to fight to get. And got very lucky on. And I say, when it comes to ordering from high spots, I'm... This is, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura. And for those of you who can't read Japanese, that says King of Strong Style in Japanese. He signed, I think they said two promos like that. I was incredibly lucky and got one of them. I didn't have a Shinsuke one at all. I love him. I desperately wanted one of him. And when I saw that, I just could not resist it. And I was one of the lucky two. So this will be finding a permanent home in my collection. So I honestly don't know how I could possibly upgrade on that. So there we go. A bunch of new Funkos for my ever-growing pile of doom. Some absolute legends, some no longer with us, unfortunately. People who will be legends if given half the chance. Yeah. So what do you think? Not too bad a shipment, huh? You guys been ordering anything lately? Got anything cool? How much did you blow on WrestleCon? I didn't spend as much as I was planning. One of the items sold out before I got it, so... You know. Alright, if you enjoyed this, shoot that thumbs up. Anything to say, any comments, shoot them to me down below. You know, I love hearing from you guys. Ding that post to be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. As always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. And if uh, you're one of the ones who missed out on the promos I got, I'd say I'm sorry, but I'm not. <laughs>